In the last few years, companies like Baofeng Radio have started to lock the frequencies on their radios, meaning you can no longer transmit on anything but 2 meters and 70 centimeters. But what if, just what if, there was a way to hack your Baofeng radio? And recently, that's what I discovered by complete mistake. Baofeng Radio sent me two UV5Xs, also known as UV5G. They're GMRS radios, specifically locked to only work on GMRS. When I went to do a review on these radios, I noticed quite a few bugs. And since amateur radio is all about experimentation and curiosity, I set out to see if I could fix some of those bugs. Specifically, there's some things in the UV5X or the UV5G that the radio just won't allow you to do, like change the power level settings from the front of the radio. And even though it's advertised as a 128 channel radio, you can't add channels above channel 30. I reached out to Baofeng and they told me that it's a limitation with the chip that's inside this radio. And with that, my curious mind started roaming. And today I want to share that knowledge with you how to hack your Baofeng UV5G or UV5X in order to work on 2 meters, 70 centimeters, 1.25 meters. And before we get started, I do want to mention that you need to know what you're putting in frequency-wise. Frequencies you put in and transmit on may be considered illegal in your state or country. What do you need for this hack? Number one, you need a UV5X or a UV5G GMRS radio from Baofeng. Next up, you need to go to hamradiodude.com and download the XML file provided in a link below. Next, you're going to need to download the programming software from Baofeng for the UB5X. You're going to need to subscribe to Ham Radio Dude. And finally, you're going to need a Baofeng programming cable. You know what? It is optional, but you're probably going to want it anyway. Make sure you got Chirp downloaded. Again, a link below. Now that we got that all downloaded, go ahead and install the Baofeng programming software and follow me on screen. One other thing I forgot to mention that you're going to want it is going to be an XML editor. Uh, I recommend XML Notepad, and I'll link that below as well. Once you have everything downloaded, go ahead and open up PRG P51 UV FCC version 1 or the Baofeng programming software. With that software open, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to settings and make sure that your COM port is set correctly. My USB cable happens to be plugged into COM port 6 and click OK. And then the first thing that you're going to want to do at that point is read the radio. Once the radio is done being read, you should get a pop-up that appears like this, but on occasion I don't. And so what I'll do is I'll go to edit and click on channel information. With that being said here, we see a list of different channels that this radio has. So I want to explain, here's how this radio works. You can't edit the frequencies on channels 1 through 30. It just does, it's not possible. These are hard set into, I guess, the chip, as they mentioned to me. The reason I think it's in the chip and not just the software is because whenever I write the channels uh, via an XML hack and I upload them to the radio, when I then go into the radio and I change the channel from, for example, 1 to 2, and then I go back to 1, anything that I changed in that XML file defaults back to what this radio originally had in it. Uh, but you could you could edit things like the channel name. You can't edit the power levels either. And so this is where some people would actually want to be able to modify the power. You don't always want to be on high power. Sometimes you want the ability to be on low power so you save your battery. And with that being said, on channel 31, 32, 33, and so forth, you could input frequencies to listen on, for example, that. And you still just can't put in frequencies to transmit on. We're going to work around that here. And the way we're going to do it is open up the XML file that I linked below. And when you do that here, you're going to see that I modified that XML file to already have transmit frequencies inputted. Now at this point, before we write to the radio, click on edit and go to frequency range setting. You're going to see the adjust frequency range here and go ahead and click 136 to 260 and then 400 to 520 and click right. This will allow you to transmit on frequencies between those ranges. Once you're done writing, it'll say success. And at this point, go to channel information page again and click on write up here. We're now writing all those channels into our memory. Now, when you're done uploading everything to the radio, you're going to notice a few things. Yes, you still can't change anything on channels 1 through 30. However, on 31 through 116, you, you can now change the high and the low power. So you could change those settings as you couldn't before. You could also now do that on the radio as well. 
one of the things you still can't change is the TX frequency. This has got to be locked down in the software. So I will show you in a moment how to modify the XML file, but I also do want to mention that I've confirmed this works on 2 meters, 70 centimeters, 1.25 meters, but what I haven't confirmed is how it looks on a spectrum analyzer. This next step is not required, but it sure makes it a lot easier to go through and modify the XML file. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and open up Chirp, and the first thing I'm going to do is download from the radio. Now what should happen is once it's done cloning, we should see all the channels we just added from the XML hack. We can now see a list of all the different inputted frequencies, but here's the problem, is if we were to change anything in Chirp and then re-upload this, Chirp would set this so it no longer transmits again. And to get around that, I still am going to use radio reference, or repeater book, excuse me. I'm going to go to radio and import from data source repeater book, and I'm going to do a proximity query of any 2 meter repeaters in my area and click OK. Here we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see there is a few repeaters in my area. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on Auto, and then I'm gonna bring this up to channel 31. So this is gonna import from channels 31 to 36. And even then, it still won't transmit, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write the radio, upload to radio. Once uploading to the radio has finished, let's go ahead and open up that Baofeng programming software again. And when we do so here, we're going to click setting and we're going to read from radio and click start. Once you've read the radio again, you could actually go ahead and exit out of that for now. But once you've read the radio again, uh, you see that we actually now have all the receive frequencies there. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to file and save as. Now save this as another XML file, something like working.xml. And the reason it was so nice to use chirp is because now when we go into the XML editor, the only thing we're gonna need to modify is the transmitting frequency, or in my situation, the repeater's input. Go ahead and open up the program XML Notepad, and what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click the open folder icon in the top left of the screen and find your working.xml file. Mine happens to be in C users slash subscribe to ham radio, dude. Anyway, what you're going to see is once that loads, you're going to get this XML file with a tree on the left-hand side. And as you expand the tree, there's a bunch of Chinese. The first folder is a list of the channels. And these are channels. This is what it says right here, channel data. And these are channels 1 through 28 or 0 through 127. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to page down until you find your repeater frequencies. Here I have channel 31, 32, and so forth. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to modify only one channel, and it's going to be 32. All I need to do is input my repeater's frequency, or my input frequency, the transmit frequency. Now, if this was a simplex frequency, it would be the same as your receive frequency. But for a repeater, it would be 146. Dot, or excuse me, 144.730. Now, I can't just type in 730 because it will actually cause the Baofeng programming software to crash. I need to end in zero, zero, so five digits in the last section of the frequency. And what we're going to do then is we're going to save working.xml. And when we save it, we're now going to go ahead and go into the Baofeng programming software and open that file. Now that the file is open, you can see right here, 144.730 has been inputted into the TX frequency section. We're going to go ahead and write this to the radio. And then we're going to transmit, and that's all you need to know on how to modify or hack your UV5X or UV5G GMRS radio from Baofeng. W9FFF testing. Ladies and gentlemen, it is that easy. So if you should have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you find a better way to do this, I'd be more than happy to hear I'd like to thank Baofeng Radio because they sent me a radio that was full of bugs, which allowed me to recognize that this radio was completely hackable. So thanks a lot, Baofeng Radio. If you guys are interested in this, I'll provide a link below for these radios. And I also wanted to give a huge recognition to the channel supporters. Uh, these people pay a small amount of money each month to help me continue to make videos on YouTube. So thank you all very much. And until next time, again, 73.